I'm gonna harvest up some of these tomatoes and it's been hot so uh, excuse me if you don't feel the excitement flying out of my uh, body uh, exuding whatever you call it uh, it's been really hot and I've also been watching uh, a lot of other uh, gardeners kind of uh, on the lane for their videos as well as we try to deal with the heat uh, but but here on our property not only are, are we dealing with the heat but we have to deal with kind of running at 50 percent so I gotta kind of rush to do a few videos and then I gotta get back inside because that's where the kids are I don't really let them come outside when it gets too too hot even though they do come out uh, with that being said, uh, you can kind of see around there are a lot of things that needs to be done here. Uh, even though the plants are growing and still are fruiting and the tomatoes are ripening, the beans are ripening, and the bell peppers are ripening and the eggplants, uh, you still can look at the plant and tell that it needs better care or they need more care. Um, there, there's a lot of things that should have been staked up that wasn't. Uh, a lot of things that should have been taken out a long time ago that's still in the ground that's something I have to get better with because I like leaving stuff in the ground trying to get seeds but really I don't need that many seeds especially I still got lettuce that's seeded and just sitting there so those are gonna if I had a real food forest that would be good because that would just come right back up but we're not in the food forest out here uh, so basically, I haven't been eating much of the tomatoes. I've been freezing them like crazy. I watched the Callie Kim video uh, where she was freezing her tomatoes. And and that's what I've been doing. I, I haven't been dehydrating much. Uh, I've been eating them with hamburgers and just with like tomatoes and egg in the morning. But for the most part, while Bev is gone because I, I don't have time to kind of do everything I want to do. So I got to take them off freeze them because we don't want to lose them take them off freeze them and then come back out and see what else I can do just to hold things in place until she gets back uh, because I mean it's grass cutting it's house dishwashing and bathing kids it gets difficult so let me show y'all some of the high tunnel that's been uh, unkept or just our high tunnel at 50 percent that's all it is so I'll show you how it's looking today as opposed to probably how it was looking when y'all seen it a while ago so let's go check it out so as we go through the high tunnel you can see a little closer view of the plants and the problem that we're having is that a lot of them yeah they're getting a little older because we've been had these in the ground for a long time but I don't think that's a that's an excuse because I've had tomato plants way longer and it should be looking way healthier than this actually we've if you look in you'll see a lot of diatomaceous earth I've been able to do that because that's easy right I come out and I get like a cup of it and I kind of sprinkle it on the plant when I really should have been spraying with the neem oil and I haven't been fertilizing basically at all either so you can see the plants are not as lush or healthy but I did come in and do a little uh, cleaning up of some of the limbs that were dying back uh, but the cabbage worm has been just a culprit I had a little bit last year uh, but this year they're really I don't even understand them they're really uh they're really putting me at a at a higher stress level I'll say that uh, you can see especially up here to the top they've been doing their job even if I haven't been doing mine but we still this plant should have been loaded with uh, these little these are called San Marzano I wouldn't grow them again next year I'm gonna save them maybe bells might like them I really don't like the flavor in them and why grow something you really don't like right uh, banana peppers have been doing well let me see if I can slow down 
but the same thing here is you probably won't even notice but that's a banana pepper plant too once again haven't been keeping up on it but I'm gonna show y'all something that's real real amazing I had these plants in for a while uh, they're still gonna produce so I just gotta wait on them this is a celebrity tomatoes they're still doing well so I'm gonna spray everything today and I just wanted to show you this video because I watch a lot of people's videos and people every time they show something that's wrong with their plants they always say oh and then I'm gonna take care of that today <laughs> it's like why you didn't take care of it before the video alright so why I'm telling you I'm gonna take care of it today is because I didn't want to spray the neem oil then pick the uh, tomatoes and peppers so I'm gonna show you all this video with everything on it and then after I pick all the tomatoes off then I'm gonna spray that way I won't be spraying my tomatoes and then having to go inside and wash them off uh, also gonna take out a lot of this stuff and start getting ready to I have some that I've actually rooted some tomatoes look at this that's nasty I'm not gonna put that on the pest I'm gonna put that on me for not getting them picked in time uh, we can walk on down I think over here my cucumber trellis idea you can see some cucumbers on there I think it's just far too wet right here still I still don't have this row high enough as you can see along with the squash crook neck squash they're in there but they're not doing optimal and I think that's because I still have some more work to do this fall and this is the back y'all see it's still a pond back here I'm gonna work on that this is why this is not actually grass that's that high outside the high tunnel is actually dirt that I got my neighbor to use his tractor to dump it close as he could to the high tunnel and then I'm gonna shovel it all in to all of these low spots and after I get it kind of leveled off, that's when I'm going to come in with the, like this, right? I'm going to put down heavy layer of cardboard, and then I'll start with the soil and the wood chips over top of it. God spare, we're going to get that done this fall. Uh, these are some peppers we actually overwintered. You can see that. That's cool. This is my ghost pepper. I rarely ever get out here to water this thing. And it still manages to fruit. I was just going to leave it out here in the high tunnel. And then once the summer came, I was supposed to put it back out. But I just never put it back out. Alright. I'm going to show y'all one thing. Oh, hold on. Give me a second. I can't leave without something in my hand. Let me get that. At least something. <laughs> All right. Now we can go out here. <laughs> this is the the final frontier back here. You gotta be a man to get back here. Uh, don't go back here often. Besides to cut grass because of the snake issues but I gotta show you this this is gonna be my grape trellis line I only got these bamboo sticks up now but I'm gonna concrete some 4 by 4s in the ground run some wire and I was out here looking they're still alive still doing good I wasn't worried about catching up to trellis in them this year because it's the first year in the ground uh, so these are some muscadines and I believe concord grapes 
that I actually planted but you can see how well they're doing so when the fall comes I'll come out here and do all the cutting back and all that good stuff but look at this it's promising let me get in close so you can see how promising this is I don't want to look at that a little small vine like this has these nice nice clusters nice clusters look at that all over them look at this another nice cluster come on out of that so that people can see ya look at that so come on move out the way yeah so that's gonna be nice to have those producing really well it looks like a good producing vine uh, give me about a year and this may be something you can take a picture of and write home to mama to right uh, I'm gonna go show y'all the rest of the stuff let's go starting to get a lot of little watermelons out here but I do have some that are already in here you see that that are looking real good my gosh that's looking real good I have some more up in here look at this one uh oh make sure nothing ate on it yeah nothing's ate on it look at that one so even my, my thing about watermelons is boy just one just one you know that's my idea on watermelons if just one of those made and came all the way and oh man you get to cut one of those open I got one up in here where you at it's making got a few more up in there I don't want to step on the vines but man even way out here they're coming like last year they was up in the front of the yard they was kind of in the way I couldn't let them run but this year I think I'm gonna let them run like I said I haven't been watering much I'm probably gonna throw about two five gallons of uh, fishy emulsion just on the top just throw some over there and hopefully hit the roots somewhere up in there uh, look at these cantaloupes got one here look at this big daddy just up in here look at that getting some it's getting some good color on it I got one over there but I don't know if I should go get it it's like yellowing I think I should climb up there and take it out and cut it open because I, I don't think they're supposed to yellow most cantaloupes I see kind of brown up when they're ready especially in the store so like I say I'm not a cantaloper thought I had something under my foot but you'll see there's one there then there's another one right up in there coming on around the back side is where I wish I would have had more of that carpet put down that way I could have got a real real good look of just vines that's what I want to see just vines everywhere and I got another one. Look at that one. Right up in there. That I can see. And you know how melons are. You can't see everything you have until sometimes it's almost ready to go. One day you come out and you just see it sticking out. So, uh, but 
That thing looks crazy. That's the watermelon mound. I'm gonna show y'all what we've been doing in ground. We gotta go to the front for that. One second. All right, so now that it's raining, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get an umbrella and we're gonna go pick some green beans before we go to that front bed where the other bell peppers are. So let me get an umbrella and then we'll be right back. All right, so we got our tomatoes. That's the tripod, I'm not gonna be able to use it. <laughs> We got our eggs this morning from the chickens. Actually, I've gotten to to a stage in our egg production where not only do I not have to buy eggs, my mom doesn't have to buy eggs, my sister doesn't have to buy eggs, so we're winning on that front. Uh, but this is something everybody knows about this bed, right? I have the mulberry cuttings in this bed. I'll let you look at that right quick. A lot of them have kind of dried up. But I have three at the back. I can't even point at them, so let's get closer. Because I'm holding this umbrella. So I have three at the back that have actually rooted. All the ones that I thought had rooted, somebody did comment on, on the channel. Hey, you know, just be mindful. Sometimes mulberry cuttings shoot out uh, leaves before they root. Uh, so wait a little while. So, so out of all these, I think I did about maybe 20 of them or so. So out of all of those, this is me fighting with an umbrella. Uh, I've gotten, you see this one has leaves on it. That one, I have some leaves on this one. And I got these that's back here, you can see them. With the tomato in the way, let me see. You see them now. So those. Pigeon pea plants hibiscus and I actually just did this not too long ago and I'll show you on the back side what I did I got two T posts I think these are eight foot or six foot I think these are six foot T posts uh, from Home Depot and I had this little panel it I don't even know where you can get them from but you can make them like they use them to make like kennels and things uh, so break it down and that's what you have one full panel so we're using that this year as our trellis look at that and all you gotta do is go there and pull them off nice and long my kids love these so if you haven't uh, something that your kids don't like don't cook it all the way right because a lot of times when we cook our food too much we cook the flavor out of them we cook the what's what's called uh the individualism out of the food and we season it so everything kind of tastes the same so i found that if you like half cook your vegetables like warm them up let those kids see what it really tastes like and, and sometimes they may tend to like the food because if not then you just have everything taste the same and they're like i didn't want that last week and i don't want this this week but when you say uh, -uh this tastes different way different look at that and they can taste the difference for themselves so that's our little trellis that we're using i like it I love growing on fences, I ain't gonna lie to you. I got another one too that's trellised up. I'm gonna bring you over there and check that one out. Let's go. And that, there's always something on beans for some reason. Especially ants. You can see that? They love to be on your beans. Especially right, and they're always right here some, at this knob. Why? I don't, I don't know. So you come out. And with beans, of course, the more you pick, the better. So I think I picked some about two days ago. And I can actually come. Now to get to these on the back, all I got to do is bend. I'm trying to do this with one hand again. Bend them out, bend them through, and clip them off. Hope y'all saw that. For those that's growing out the back. Uh, but you can let them grow some more, so that's this little 
I don't know how many. I've actually started replanting as well, so you can see. Let's move on to the front. I'm gonna end this video right here. Uh, I talk a lot about my high tunnel, but you hadn't seen one of my bell pepper plants in that high tunnel look as amazing as these that are outside. <laughs> this is the only rose we planted out here. But look at these peppers.